welcome to my YouTube video. This is my Minecraft uh, video series of Pokemon. This next video is Jolteon. Um, as you saw last week, we did Vaporeon. Uh, so this one is Jolteon, and I'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year as well. I uh, hope you all you've all had a good time and you've all been safe. Um, so let's get to it. Uh, for these blocks, for Jolteon, you're going to need standard black wool, spruce planks, cyan hardened clay, yellow wool, purple wool, block of quartz, light grey wool, oak planks, you want the dark coloured mushroom, sand and gold. Now, for this, guys, um, just so you know, I did two versions of this and I actually prefer the one that isn't the yellow wool um, so you if you don't want to do the one with yellow wool swap out the yellow wool for the light colored mushroom just here you should see a picture of it popping now so I actually prefer that one compared to the one I'm gonna build but I thought because you know I'm doing a video make it a bit simpler uh, I'll use the yellow wool just for standard uh, but like I said, if you want to use the, if you want to do the other version of it, just use the light coloured mushroom instead of the yellow wool. So right, guys, let's start off. So first, what you want to do, place your first block down, and then put one black wool at either side, and then we'll go from, we'll go around the right side. So go up, right diagonal one, and then place one on top. And then go up right diagonal again and then go four up from that so you've got five like so now up right diagonal again and you want to go up seven well up six from this one so you've got a column of seven so two three four five six seven then go up right diagonal again oh. and then go two across up one, two across. Do one more up right diagonal and then go one across from that. And then down right diagonal and then go down from that. Now from this one you want five down right diagonal. So one, two, three, four, five. And on the fifth one you want to go down two. Like so. Uh, if we just come back here to the singles uh, the second one you placed just do one down left diagonal and make one underneath it and then basically repeat that another two times like so so you've got three columns of two now from this one go down left diagonal and go two across to the left now up left diagonal again up one up right diagonal up right diagonal again and then go up three and then up left diagonal and it should connect like so now continuing back from this section go down left diagonal one place one underneath and then repeat the process again just one more time like so so you've got two now go down right diagonal and then go two to the right and then you want to go up right diagonal one and then make put one on top and then make that copy that another three times so you've got four columns of two like so now go up left diagonal again place up one up left diagonal again and then go up two on the top one go to the left and then the middle on the right go two across and place one on top so it kind of looks like that now you want to place one up left diagonal here so it connects them two and then on this one if you want to make it easy for yourself just place any other block that you have and then surround that block with black wool and then delete now from this arrowhead here, go one up left diagonal and leave it at that. From this one, go two across. 
up one, and then do two up left diagonals, like so. Now go up right diagonal one, and then go one to the right, same again, like so, and then go up, uh, sorry, go two up right diagonals, like so. So that's what you've got so far, or you should have. Now you want to switch to your oak planks. Place one on top. Then go five across to the left. So it should match up with this one here. Two, three, four, five, six. So you've got a row of six. Go down left diagonal and then go one to the left. Then switch back to your black wool, place on that row of six, on the very left, place one black wool and then go up left, sorry, up right diagonal and then up one from that and then another row of, another column of two. So it looks like that. Now go up left diagonal and then go up two. Now switch back to your, from this column of three on the bottom, go down left diagonal twice. And then from the very top, place one on the left, go down left diagonal one, one to the left, and then down left diagonal two, and on the second one you want to go to the left, and then down left diagonal two again, like so. So if you switch to your black wall, on this last one here, place two high, up right diagonal, then go four high from that one. So you've got a column of five, like so. And if you've done this right, you should have two spaces above these. So if we just select this, one, two, yeah. So we're doing good. Right, from this column of five, on the second one down, place one black wall to the left, then go down left diagonal two. Go up left diagonal one, down left diagonal one, and place one underneath it down left diagonal one and then you want to go up left diagonal again and then down left diagonal and then one underneath so you've essentially copied that design twice now from this one go down left diagonal again and then go down two like so now switch to your oak planks just place one on the right here and then up right diagonal from that one underneath this, like so, and then if you go back to your, sorry, keep your oak planks from this column of three here, go down left diagonal one and then go two to the left, like so. Now we're going to do the electric meme, main, main, should I say. So underneath that row of three oak planks uh, sorry row of two oak planks not three ignore that so it should be two not three uh, you want to do three black walls hanging off the right then place one underneath and then one to the side one under that and then just take the middle out so you've got something that looks like that now on this bottom one go left one uh, do the same again so one the down down there. and then from that you want to go one more down right diagonal so you've got something that looks like so now just on that last one you placed underneath it place a cyan, a cyan hardened clay switch to your black wool and then go two to the left of it back to your cyan clay uh, and now go up left diagonal one one to the left and one down and then you want to essentially just put uh, one up left diagonal on the top of the arrowhead like that. From this bottom one, go down right diagonal, down one again. So you should have one one cube uh, gap. Switch to your black wall. From that one, go left twice, up left diagonal once. Switch to your cyan again. Place one on the left and one up left diagonal from that. Back to your black wall. 
from the cyan go down two down right diagonal one and then go down two like so down left diagonal one and then up left diagonal one and then from this one just place one to the left and one up and what you're going to do is it should connect hopefully from the first block we started off go up left diagonal one place one on top up right diagonal one and then go all the way and it should connect like so so it should work something like so so far so from this massive column here where you place these two go down one and then to the left of it place a black wall uh, sorry go down underneath that one so you've got two from that one so it looks like that so you've got a gap there and then you go down one now from this one place another to the left and then go up two so it's just one block short of that one And then from that one, you want to go five down. One, two, three, four, five. This is the tricky bit that you can get yourself wrong on. Uh, go down left diagonal one and then place one underneath. And then down left diagonal again and then go two to the left. So you should technically have three spaces between here and here. So one, two, three, if you've done this right. Now, black wall again. Up left diagonal one and up one on that. Now switch to your, I think this is a spank, if I can remember. Uh, no, sorry, this is still the oak, uh, oak planks. Uh, just place up right diagonal one and then just place one in the middle. Uh, just if you go uh, back to the feet, uh, just place in the corners oak planks, one there, one there. And same again on this foot. This one you get a leaf now because you're actually going to fill that with um, oak planks. So just you can do that after. Or you can do it now. It's up to you guys. Just fill up like the like a different. Now, if you go back to this one here. Select your black wool and go up three. Three. Up left diagonal one. Up two. Now, tricky bit. Uh, if you just want to get a yellow wool or if you're using the light mushroom, just place one on top of that and leave it. Uh, to the black wool, place one on each side. On this one here, you could essentially do like a V shape. So go down right diagonal one. Go up left diagonal, uh, sorry, up right diagonal twice, and it should connect like so. And then just place a cyan wool on top of that. And then back to the yellow wool on the top one here. You want to go to the left one so it connects to the one on the side, and then from that one on the side, go left one again. So it looks like that. Place a cyan underneath it, and then a black to the left. Now down left diagonal with a black wool again, and then go across one. And then go up to. So it should technically line up with the yellow block. Now go up, right diagonal one. Up one again. Switch to your cyan, place one on top, and then up right diagonal with that. Back to the black wool from the first cyan wool. Go three to the left. Three. And then you want to repeat that process on here. So cyan wool there. And there. except this time you're going to go three. Up right diagonals. Now from the black wall, you want to place one there, one up left diagonal, one up right diagonal, and then go place one on top, and then one more, and then one to the right of the middle one, and then take that middle one off. So it looks like that. From this one here, go right one, down right diagonal, and then go three across to the right. To, so you've got a row of four. Go up, right diagonal, and then go two across. Up, right diagonal, one. Up, right diagonal again. And now you want to go 
two across, so you've got a row of three, so two, three. And then place one here, one on top, one at the side, take the middle out. So really this block here, or this block here, should be in line with those two. If we've done this right. So from this one here, this is where you're going to need your spruce planks. Place one on top of that and one to the left. Now back to your black wool, place one on top of that, one to the right, one on top. Take the first one out again. And then same process again. And take that. So you've got something like that. On the top one here, get your spruce, but one on the left and one oak plank on the left of that. Back to your hardened clay. Now from this middle bit here, so it's essentially the middle of that section. On the right of this black wall, place your cyan there. Put a go up right diagonal one so it connects to that, and then up right diagonal again, and then one to the right. Now back to your black wall. Underneath that one, place one black wall and one on the right. Now your cyan, place one underneath it, go one down the left diagonal, and then one to the left. So you should have one black gap there. Switch to your black wool, and from that cyan wool there, uh, cyan clay, sorry, go two across to the right, go down one, go down left diagonal one, and down one again, and then left, so it should connect like that. And then just place a cyan hardened clay at the end of that. Now, keeping your cyan clay, we're going to just fill in the rest of this uh, main. So this section here, from where you finished off, you want to place one there, one to the left. If you come to this bit here where the yellow wool was, just above the black wool, place one there. And that's it for the cyan clay. So switching back to the black wool, we'll start from the left side here. So we're almost done, we've just got to do the ears and the rest of the face and then we can start filling them in. So from this one here, you want to go up the left diagonal three times. So one, two, three. And then on the last one, go up two. Now switch to your spruce. Go up right diagonal one, select your purple wool, and then place one on the right of that. Black wool on top of that one, essentially make an L, a, small, a very small L like that. And then get your wart, just place that on that side. So essentially that's the, the left eye. Get your black wool and place two high above the warts. Now back to your spruce, go up right diagonal one right diagonal again and then go up one from that and then up right diagonal again and then go right from that one now back to your black wall from this first block of spruce go go up four so one two three four and then with your spruce go up two from that up right diagonal one and one on top and then just repeat that again so that's one more so you should have three columns of two and then go up right diagonal three times and then one more with the black wall now go down right diagonal with the black wall and then go down twice Uh, sorry, go down three times, so you should have a column of four. So, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Oh, sorry, I got mistaken. Uh, down left diagonal once, and then go down twice, and then down left diagonal once again. Switch to your oak planks, and then essentially you want to just put, place one there, one there, and then one like that. And then from this one, go down left diagonal once and then place one underneath so it connects to that 
and then just place one underneath that spruce plank there. Now carrying on from this one, switch to your spruce, place one there, one down right diagonal, and then one underneath it, and take the middle out. And then from this one here, go up right diagonal one, and now back to your oak, just place one there, and then switch to your block wall. Now from this spruce plank here, place one to the right, and then one down. And then go back to your spruce, so place one underneath that. Go down left diagonal one, and then down left diagonal again, but with the oak this turn. Switch to your spruce again, place one on the right of this column of black wall there, and then go to your oak planks and go up two right diagonals, like that. Now with this, you're going to want to switch to your yellow wool or the uh, light mushroom, if that's what you're using. Just place one on the right of that, and then up right diagonal once, and then one to the right, up right diagonal again, and then you want to go two to the right, and then up right diagonal again. You want to go two to the right again, switch to your oak once, and then back to your spruce. So it looks like that. So this is what Eve, uh, not Eve, sorry, Jolteon looks like so far. Just because I was looking at Eve when I said that. So from this block here, oh, get your black wool, place one to the right and go down one. So you want to go down five down left diagonals from this one. So one, two, three, four, and five. And now with these two here, just place one there so it connects. So you've got an arrow head pointing down, and then go down right diagonal, and then down left diagonal again, and just leave that for a second because we're going to make sure this connects. So from this one here, go up right diagonal once, one to the right, so it connects to that cyan wall, and then same again. You want another column or two there, and then. Upright diagonal again and then just connect it. So like so. So that's essentially Eevee. Uh, Eevee, I keep saying Eevee. Uh, Jolteon, sorry. Right, we're just going to do quickly do this here because this is one of the bit, the complicated bits. So from this spruce plank there, or the oak plank, it doesn't matter, just place one like that. And then go up right diagonal once one to the right, go up one, go right twice, go up one, right twice again, go up one again, and then go right three times, so one, two, three, and then go up one, and then right once. So it should look something like that, except it doesn't look something like that. Get your spruce planks. If we'll see if this, if what I've done wrong here. So from this, from this yellow wool here, just place one spruce there, one spruce there, one spruce there. Here we go. This is what I didn't do. I went too far. It should have been two. And then from this yellow wool, place one downright spruce like that so just essentially do that and then get your black wool and just go underneath it and then like so so them two them two ends should connect like that so ignore the first thing i did if you place the spruce first and then do that bit it gets a bit easier now just to make sure i don't mess up again from this arrowhead here from the left side place up left diagonal a spruce plank and then go down left diagonal twice, like so. And then do it up left diagonal from this one here, so you've got a gap between there. And then up left diagonal again from this section here, like so. Now switch to your purple wool 
from this one, the last one you place, go two to the left, up one, and then what you're going to do, just connect them to the spruce. Like that. And then on this one, you just want to go two. And then you want to leave the gaps there. Get your black wall out. Uh, from the purple wall here, just go down left diagonal one and leave it at that. So if we just do the mouth quickly, get the spruce planks. And from the middle one of these, so this one here, go up right diagonal one. Switch to your oak planks, put one to the right. Back to your spruce, go down right diagonal once and then two across. And then switch to your mushroom and go, your dark mushroom should I say, go up right diagonal once. Now keeping your dark mushroom just at the bottom of the mouth here, just place one in the corner, just going on the right side of the head. And then two here, like so. And then you don't really need to use your mushroom again. Uh, so if we do the rest of the eye, from the dark mushroom here, go up two, take the bottom one out, and then go one to the right, and then one up right diagonal, like that. Switch to your spruce, put one to the right of that, and that. Switch to your black wall, put two black walls there, two black walls there. One quartz connecting them, and then just use your spruce to go around the eye. So it looks like that. And we'll also do the nose that I just remembered I needed to do. So just get yellow wool, place yellow wool here, switch to your spruce, put one upright diagonal, and then switch to the mushroom and put one to the right. Okay, let's see if that works a little bit better. Now he's got a nose. Yeah, that looks a bit better now. Okay. Okay, now we're going to just do the main, because it's the easiest bit. Just get your light grey wool, and from the left side here, go three across and two on top. On this bit here, put one there and one there. Place one here. Uh, one on the side of the cyan and one on top, like so. So this section looks like that. Now on this bit here, you want to put one on the left, one on the right, and then one on top of that, and one on the right. Your sentry is kind of going across the top. Uh, it's essentially almost a line. Now from this one, place one on top here, one on top of that. Uh, and then for this bit, just to make it a bit easier, go back to the beginning bit, leave a gap, place one there, one there, Place then one on the right and then go three down. And then from this one, you want to make sure it's in the middle and go up. So you've left with a gap there. Uh, and then from the middle of that, go two across. Down one. Two across. Down one. Go one across, so you've got a gap left. And then go up and then connect that to that. So you've got something that looks like that. Now from here, place one on the left of that. And one on the left of that. And then go up one from that. And go all the way across. So you've got a gap of two. So you should have two there now. And you're going to leave that section empty. You, you can fill this section here. And so if we go from this. Cyan clay here with your light grey wall go one two up one 
and then go all the way across place one next to that black wall and then connect this section here so that's what it looks like go up from that and then just fill this top bit here and you're leaving that section there and that section there now if we fill this section here as well like that and then just fill that middle bit there and everything else you're just going to fill with the quartz Okay, so that's what that looks like now. Now if we do yellow wool, uh, just a quick one here, top the left ear just filled that with yellow wool, uh, nothing too difficult. Or again if you're using the light mushroom, uh, use that instead. Keeping yellow wool from this bit here, you've got this section here, place one on the left, go down two, and then one to the left. Uh, I've actually done something wrong here, I've just realised guys. Um, if you take this section off here, if I can remember where it is, here we go, right. So you're going to leave, you're essentially just going to take that off, what you just did. Uh, take this one off, and then just place one there. And you want to switch this spruce for oak. So it kind of looks like that, you're essentially, you're not doing anything, you're just taking that uh, second or purple walls there. And replacing that one with oak and then putting a black wool at the side of that and taking the one that was here. So that's what it looks like. Uh, just get keeping your oak planks and then on this section just place two there so it connects to that. Okay. So if I think we will switch to the gold quickly and we'll might as well get the same. Uh, just the gold one just so we finish off the year. Uh, you're going to leave this top section off empty here for now, so place one gold there, one gold there. Go down to the bottom here, place one gold there, and then fill that, basically that ear with yellow wool. Now, if we just do the face, so from this one here, from where you changed it, you're just going to want to get your yellow wool, go down, keep going down. Now from this one, go down twice, and then three times, and then place one to the left, so it connects to that bit. Now go down three times again, and then go to the left on the last one, and then down left diagonal, and then down one, and then keep going all the way to the left. So it looks like that. And then just from the other side of the mouth, put one there and then just fill that section in with yellow wool or white mushroom. Uh, just quickly, don't fill this section in here. This section stays blank. because This isn't part of the face. So it looks like that. Now... If you switch to your block of gold, just fill the fill everything in gold, and then we'll do the sand. Just it's a bit easier to do it because obviously sand doesn't stay in one place. Okay. 
Okay, now switch to your sand, now that we've done that section, and just go to the top of the ear here, take this section of three out, place your sand there, and then take this top section out as well, and then place your sand there. Now just go to the face, and from this column of two spruce here, just go down right diagonal one, take that across as well, so you've got a row of two, then take a row of four underneath that, row of four again, and then just two in the middle so it kind of looks like a, a cross and then just fill that with sand so that's the face now back to yellow we'll start from the first leg on the left so if you fill this section in here go down to the bottom and then go all the way across and then you were going to want to leave a gap on the left here, so and then fill the top bit with yellow wool. Now from the bottom, place one on the left, go two high on the right, and then one upright diagonal. Then switch to your sand, and then just essentially two there, two there, and then fill the rest with a block of gold. Now the next foot, next leg should I say. Get one block of yellow wool, place one there, switch to your sand, go three across and then two. Now your block of gold, go all the way up till the column of black wool there. Go all the way across and then place two on top. So it looks like that. Now this bit, just place one oak plank here and get your yellow wool don't forget to fill this gap in here now from this cyan clay here go two to the right down one one to the right and then place one there now fill this section in with yellow yellow wool Okay, that, that, that's that section done. Just this leg, this next leg here is easy. Just get your oak planks and just fill this leg with oak planks because it's technically in the shadow. So we don't have to put color in that. Now on the right leg, this is going to be the more challenging bit now. So if we do all the sections with the yellow or the white mushroom. So starting from the toes, place one yellow ball there, block of gold across the top, and then two on top. So you've got five there. Now back to your yellow wool, and then go from this section, this column here of black wool, go upright diagonal one, go across, and then place one on top right and then you do want to place a oak plank just on the left of that that I forgot to mention before and then one yellow wool up left from that now fill that section in okay now from here back to your oak plank go up left diagonal one and then one to the left and then just place one yellow wool up left diagonal from that. Now back to your oaks on this section here. Place one in the corner there. Put one yellow wool to the right. Uh, two here and then one there and one to the left. So it looks like that. And you might as well just fill this one here with block of gold so you don't forget. Now, keeping your yellow wool, starting from this bit here, place one there, and then one on the very right of it, and then one down left diagonal from that, and then one there, and then one there. Now get a oak plank, 
and just place one to the left of that. Now from these two here, go two across to the left, and then from the first one go up one, and you go up two, then go up three, and then one to the right. So it's sort of a stairway effect. And then just place one yellow wall there, and then one on top of each of these two oak planks. Now this section here, just place a yellow wall there. And now from this one, go two to the left, and then two underneath that. Down left diagonal from the left one, like that. And then what you're gonna do is go up till it connects, like that. Go one to the right and then go all the way up and then place a block of, wool of um, gold there so you don't forget. Back to the yellow wall, two there, down left diagonal one, and then underneath this oak plank place one there and then just fill this section in with yellow wool. So what you have to do now, uh, we do have some, some sand bits to do but we'll fill this in with gold and then we'll come back to the sand bit so we'll be back in a second guys Okay guys, now you want to switch to your sand, uh, just before I start, don't forget, leave this gap here empty, and this one here empty as well, you don't want to put any blocks in there. Now get your sand out, and from this bit here, take this column of three out, and then these three, and then one. So you've got a one, a two, a three, and a one. Fill that with sand. Next section from this lonely yellow wall here take one out there next to it go three under it and then four under that and then four under that and then take that one out there so it looks like that again fill that with sand now lastly but not least underneath these two go four across Take the top one off and then these two in the middle, like that. And then just fill that with sand. So that's it guys. That is Jolteon. I will put another picture up of the other version that I did of Jolteon, the white mushroom. Um, so you can have a look and you can decide which one looks better. I personally like the white mushroom one but I thought I'd do this one because it's a bit easier. And it's a bit more pleasing to the eye. Uh, but that's it, guys. Thank you so much for all the subscriptions, all the likes, all the comments, everything. Honestly, this year has been so good for my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it, guys. So don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. Um, I will do uh, more videos, obviously. Um, I'll get equipment, so I'll stop using Twitch to record videos because it's a bit crap, to be honest. Um, but this is like the third video that I've done where I've actually spoken um, third or fourth video where I've I've talked while I've been building as you've watched my old videos I didn't really talk unless it was at the beginning but I'll definitely be doing more of that uh, so please me give me feedback guys um, but again thank you so much I hope you enjoy the video guys I hope it helps I won't be doing a another video now till the new year which will be Flareon which will be the next evolution but um, stay tuned for that, guys, and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, be safe. Now, thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.